secret dining in Park Street. Fuspa introduces the other room. It's 50 year old restaurant. Let's take you guys inside. Welcome to Trinkas and welcome to the other room. The other room is a secret hidden spot behind Trinkas that now is celebrating its 50th year of existence. The other room's always been a little bit of an enigma because people know Trinkas, that's the big brother. They don't know the other room. I've got the four signature starters over here, two wedge as well as two non-wedge. I'll start off with the sparkling spinach. Some tamarind aubergine. Personally, it's my favorite spot to sit and just have a quiet meal and a chat with friends and a few drinks and enjoy the same great food that you can have at Drinkers. I'll flush these down with some baganbari drink. You get the cocktail as well as mocktail option of these. I've opted for a mocktail. This is rose as well as lychee. Very refreshing. Final starter, some prawn nuggets in black bean sauce. Mm. I must say, all the starters were unique. But if I have to choose, I think the chicken starter was really nice. It had a little gravy touch, so it didn't feel like a starter starter. But it tasted pretty good. And also this crackling spinach. I think anything spinach from Lucknow days, I'm tending to enjoy a lot. This is one of them as well. These two starters would be my recommendation. Excited about the main course next. Next up, we've got the main courses. A lot of sizzling options are there. What I'm excited about a lot is the fish cello kebab, which is over here. Another very popular item over here is the chicken sizzler. And we've gone for some prawn tetrazzini. The number of prawns and the size of these prawns are amazing. I'm going to be starting off with the chicken sizzler first. A little bit of the veggies. And broccolis are always a favorite. I think it's a one sided love, it doesn't want to come to me. Wow. One of the better sizzlers you'll get, for sure. A little bit of the mashed potato. So if you've ever been to Trinkers uh, in the last three years, you'll have noticed there's subtle changes that have come about. There's a lot of red, there's a lot of gold, there's a lot of retro glamour that we've infused and re-infused and reinvigorated in Trinkers. This space, the other room, is where that inspiration came from and this is the original that has been preserved since 1973. I must say I'm very impressed with the presentation of the fish shello kebab over here. Of course you get the usual the egg, the fried egg, rice, mutton sheet kebab is gonna be here. Instead of chicken, you get fish kebabs over here. Plus your salad as well as your chutney. Let me take a look at the fish kebab. Looks very succulent. Mm. And the fact that it's on a sizzler makes sure it ensures that it remains hot. Not very often are we fortunate enough to get hot food, but when it's sizzlers on the menu, it's one of those days. Mm. Wow. I think the main courses over here are so much taking it to the different level. More than the starters, I'm enjoying the main course for sure. Some mutton kebabs here. Extremely soft. Delicious. Mm. Moving to the prawn tetrazzini. It's filled with vegetables, mushrooms, a lot of prawns like I've already mentioned. Plus, sides of vegetables as well. But I'm gonna get a spoon, not necessarily full of it, but definitely a piece of shrimp on it. Mm. Main course is another level. All three of them. I mean, starting in Bebe Chalam Hoytu, chicken sizzla, I wouldn't like it as much, but what a start that was, and it got better. The fish chilo and the tetrazzini, all three were top notch main courses. I think I won't be recommending you anyone in particular. You can come try out any of the dishes. Starters gulote, I like two of the three, rather two of the four. But main course is a different level altogether. This is a mango and ginger mix drink. 
is pretty good to digest whatever you've had, especially if you're going for continental. They have Indian as well as Chinese as well on the menu. It's a mixed course, but we've opted for continental because it's in Park Street from the House of Trinkers. So we know that the continental is going to be top notch. The Jayagata, my first time in Jayagata. Jayagata, na mujhe aata room ata kuch bhi bhala Jayagata. Hamas starta se mundhe bhala gaye jo prawn nuggets ka bhalo chilo. Our main course is the best thing about our steak. The steak is very good. But the overall ambience is very good. We are very proud of the weekend. So we are going to try it out. Ending with the desserts as well as the mango colada over here. I have to point out to you the timing of the place. It starts at 5 o'clock. So it's not the usual place which serves lunch. It's primarily only drinks, starters as well as dinners. So you have to be mindful of that. If you come at around 5 o'clock, this place will be open till around 11, 11.30. Some caramel custard. Basic stuff, not sweet. And some tutti frutti. I am specifically going to talk about it, but overall experience is very good. Starters are very good. I am going to talk about drinks. It's very good. When we talk about heritage places, Park Street is one of the most important things that we have to do. And we all know that Saturday and Sunday, Park Street is a good place. So first of all, I want to tell you that the other room is a good place. I want to tell you that you are going to plan for it. If you are planning for Saturday and Sunday, I want to tell you that parking is not available. Parking availability is not available. Our khabar, drinks, jodhi ami kotha boli, everything is super weird. Our crowd is brilliant, khub bhalo crowd hoche ekhane. Our ambience and all shop kichhe khub bhalo. So please esho ekhane visit koro, Heritage Place, bhalo lag. So this was the 10th episode of the Heritage series. After a long time I'm back in Park Street. I'm going to Park Street, jayega bishi baki nahi. But we've discovered a few places, Park Street as well as Russell Street. So one by one, we'll try to shoot them while I'm going to be in Kolkata over the next couple of months. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. If you did, do share with your friends and family and do drop a comment as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, this is Food Spa wrapping up from Park Street. Cheers. Ready? Oh.